Hello there, Bic Benedict here. We're playing God of War Ascension on Titan difficulty, and this is my no upgrade run plus. We're currently on chapter 16 of 30. It is entitled Prison of the Damned. So you have a, we have the second a Cerberus um, Hades Mongrel over here. And if you want to, you can just freeze him right away. I just try to do combos on him. Um, what we need to do is get a stun on the Cerberus Mongrel. And then we need to take out as many, uh, because we're going to be ringing out the, the beast, um, take out as many of the grunts as you can, but don't take too long because you only have a certain amount of time on this thing. So just kill, you know, like 10 of them and then move up here. You need to go to the right corner, press circle and press up and to the left and he will drop. <laughs> <laughs> he had no nothing to stand on um but if that's not working for you just keep trying it remember up and to the left and you don't have to interact with him after that but sometimes he gets a little bit too close to the platform but if you hold your ground and just stand there and hog the hog the ground he can fall to even if he's not too far into the air i mean he was really far in the air for me um and then it's just a matter of ringing these ones out or whatever you'd like to do so um you could ring them out all around this area over here as well as where we threw threw them off Okay, now, this is a short chapter. It has a new enemy coming up, but you, um, you definitely want to hold on to your shield because I've, I've got a specific strategy that calls for the shield. Next up is going to be an Impusa. And I, I personally don't like fighting this enemy, to be honest. But you should kind of come right over here. Here she is. The first thing she does is she tries to put poison on the ground. You can interrupt her and stop her by using the amulet. So do that. And then launch her up into the air. Hit her as many times as you need to. She doesn't counter um, air grabs, which is good. But... If you can get her stunned and put a bunch of damage on her and keep throwing her, keep lighting charges into her, uh, this should just be a piece of cake for you. Whenever she has that um, that glowing green stuff around her, it the only thing that, that you need to be worried about is that she does... Um, sometimes if you're not very close to her, she'll do a um, projectile at you. Like a, like a green squarish type of bullet. Um, but she has a pretty obvious tell of when she's going to put the poison on the ground. But just don't be worried if she has the, the, the aura around her. Uh, basically, this is just waiting for her to charge over to you and then launching her. She isn't that difficult, to be honest. There we go, with a nice Captain Planet glitch. Captain Kratos... And then you only fight this enemy one more time. It will be on chapter 29. It's a two minute video that I have already ready to go, actually. I think she has too much life, though. But the next time you fight her, it's, it's two of those at a time. So it's kind of difficult. The next fight up here is skippable. There's three grunts. But you need to really make sure that you don't pick up this sword that's in the ground. See that one? Make sure. You can skip this fight if you don't want to even risk doing that. Um, if you accidentally picked it up, though, you can just reset the checkpoint, and it won't have saved the fact that you did that. So I'm going to use the Wrecking Ball on, on these guys. Wrecking Ball is the X button attack when you've latched the chain on to, uh, to, to folks. I love the chain grapple addition to the game because you don't have to go right up to an enemy all the time. You know, you can do it from a distance. 
And if you ever see me jumping in the air and grab tethering, it's just because out of long habit, I found that if I can stay up in the air, I'm usually safer. But there's one spot where you can ring enemies out, right over here. There's three of them over here that you need to go over and aggro. And then, do you see... Well, I think you'll see in a moment. Um, up, where the, uh, where the platform ends, there's no ringing enemies out up there. So... That's unfortunate, but that's that's I believe that's it for the entire chapter. The martyr's chamber is next, and it's quite difficult. But hopefully, you won't have too many problems after I show you a nice spot to stand using the shield plume and the captain planet planet glitch. Because we have um, a siren to deal with, and it's. It's actually a pretty good fight. Do you remember the first fight of the game versus the uh, the little beetle grunts? It's in that same room. But uh, I just love bringing that, that Cerberus out. I think you only fight a Cerberus one more time. And I don't think you can ring him out. If I find it, I'll redo the video that I have. But I'm not sure if you can ring him out. Anyway, I will see you in the 17th edition. Please take care.